Hey everybody, happy Thursday and Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas Eve. You should just saying happy whatever day of the week it is when it's actually a holiday. Forget. How are y'all doing? Today we're gonna, don't think we're gonna beat Spirit Tracks, but I would like to at least beat the Sand Temple, which we just unlocked. A few minutes before stream today, I went ahead and watched the end of the last video because I kind of forgot where exactly the Sand Temple was. We should be able to find it if we look on the map. We're going to Ocean. Hey, PB, good seeing you again. <laughs> I'm beating it with that attitude. We're going to try. Actually, I honestly don't know how much more game is left, so we'll find out. It might be here. I think it's that pyramid building in the northeast corner, but I probably need to dork around this area for a bit and find it. The song is tits. And speed up. I don't know if there's actually any enemies out here, but I wouldn't be surprised if there were. Anyone already do presents? I grew up in a presents on Christmas Eve family. Never did Christmas Day. Christmas Day was a visit different family kind of a day. If you notice a bunny and I miss it, let me know. Hey Pusheen, how you doing? Merry Christmas. How's it jamming? Yeah, so this desert area is brand new. We haven't been here at all. There are these face statues, which normally we interact with elsewhere. Who do I think built it? Oh, that's a good question. Although this takes place in the Wind Waker timeline, it kind of has a nebulous connection to any of the other Zelda games. It's kind of cool. Sand Shark, Dune Shark. Alright. Is there still another one? Oh shit, there is another one. I'm gonna wait for him to jump out. There we go. Got him. Okie dokie. There's another statue. I think if at some point I need to like keep track of where they're facing. I'm digging it so far, Pusheen. I haven't played it before. I didn't know what to expect. I kinda had the concern about the touchscreen controls. Is that necessary for me to do the Sand Temple PB? Sand Sanctuary. Ah, no, I think we're supposed to go here. So I w didn't know what to expect going into either Phantom Hourglass or Spirit Tracks. I wasn't thinking I was going to like them as much as the other games because of the stylus controls, but coming back to it now, I do actually enjoy them quite a bit. They have some really cool puzzles and some really neat unique boss fights. Alright, what's going on? Weird, sandy area. I'm guessing that the paths are going to be relevant at some point. Uh, I could wake this thing up. Is that it? That might be it. I think that's it. Okay, well, I'll dork around. Maybe they'll point us in that direction explicitly here soon. That was a nice snap. The lake forms the sea, the paths form the rails. What the hell does that mean? I suppose we'll find out. Oh, you know, this might actually be... Find me by blasting the area where the gazes of the big statues meet. Huh. Okay. What's this one say? Spiky, Merry Christmas, how you doing? How loud is that blowing sound, I wonder? <laughs> I might need to mute this. This is a face mic instead of a desk mic. That's your mic. That was a nice snap. Don't dwell on what's inside. Instead, turn your gaze outward. There are no statues here. Yeah, so that's basically saying go back on the train tracks. And we'll start tracking where those giant statue faces are pointing toward. I think that's all there is to do. Let's see if there's anything there. Boomerang? No. 
now. We'll hop back on our fancy train. We're gonna go look for the statues and mark their gaze on the map. Nice. Yeah, I'm I'm really excited to finish it, uh, if only because then I get to go to my favorite Zelda game, which is uh, Link's the Past. We're gonna loop around this guy here just to see if we bump into any statues, cover everything out. Yeah, I like it quite a bit. I think that this game is the not the least favorite. The least favorite is Zelda 2. Followed by this one and Phantom Hourglass, but I don't think they deserve the hate. Alright, shit, I gotta draw. Uh, oh, I can. It just pauses the game when I do that, and that's helpful. Oops. Alright, so I'm facing him. So he's facing away from me, right? So he's facing this way, I think. I'll try to aim the camera in the direction he's looking. Sure, I got that right. Yeah, that was right. Okay. Keep looking. If you see another statue and I missed it, let me know. Hold on. Sand shark. Doesn't really make sense having dune shark, but you know, it's a video game. Go with it. Passes the rule of cool, which is if it's cool, you should include it. I am not doing 100%. Uh, off Twitch, I am a completionist gamer. I need to find and get everything. But it turns out that doing that has some pretty diminishing returns. And uh, when you're streaming it, it's often not very fun to watch a lot of that, you know? So I tend not to 100% things when streaming them on Twitch. Unless if the optional content is particularly unique or exciting, some exceptions. But, you know, like, hunting down all the pieces of heart in a Zelda game doesn't really add a ton to the, the experience of that game. And often, some of those pieces of heart can take... I think I, I went ahead and I got the uh, Fun Fun Island piece of heart in Skyward Sword. I took, like, an hour and a half. So it's like, I could either play the game for an hour and a half and do, like, an entire dungeon and some story, or I could try to get a piece of heart in a minigame, right? If, uh, if we're going to try to play every awesome game ever on Twitch... 100%ing all of them is going to greatly decrease our chance of getting to all of them. Yeah, I hear you. The music reminds you of Wild Arms. Wild Arms is a really cool game. It is a Japanese Western RPG. So it's not uh, it's not an RPG that is Western, but it's a RPG that's set in the West. Like, for example, one of the songs from the soundtrack is lifted almost directly from Ennio Morricone's um, Ecstasy of Gold from The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. And it's just littered with really cool references to westerns. Merry Christmas, Goomba. Good evening to you. Is it already Christmas proper where you are? I think so, right? Yeah, I really like being able to play as Zelda um, when you control her in the dungeons. I thought that was a really fun mechanic. It, I think it's better than the persistent dungeon in Phantom Hourglass in just about every way. That's really, really cool. Let's see if we can find out where this Where is the statue facing? They're all just... it feels like they're all just pointing to the, uh, the area we were just in, but we'll see if there's another statue that maybe changes it up a little bit. Mm, yeah, our family usually did presents on Christmas Eve. On Christmas Day it was a little bit more chill, maybe we'd have dinner or go to a different family's house. Alright, so we're just going to go opposite to the way it's pointing. Huh. Alright, so it's hard to get these exact when you're on the train, so I can try. Is that it? Let's see. The fact that I just drew over my map is going to make it a little bit harder. I see a little cave over there. What's the deal is with that? 
think it said we need to blow something up at that position. Without getting killed by dune sharks. Take them out, Just paying attention. I think it's gonna be in this uh, bit of mountain over here, though. Ow. Did I get him? I got him at least. I think it might actually be down here. Hold up. loop around this rock here, but I think I have to shoot it a whole bunch with my cannon if I can find the right spot to do it. I think it's on the north end, though. Let me change the route. My map is just an absolute mess. Puzzle's a doozy. Tell you what, guys, if I get stuck on this for more than 10 minutes, I'll, I'll take a tip. It's just, it's really difficult for me to see exactly where the, uh, the heads are, you know? Which way they're specifically facing, supposed to be facing. So with the sand sharks coming after you. Not too trivial. I don't think it's on this south side, I think it's gonna be on the north side if anywhere. Yeah, that statue is helpful and he's staring very directly at this area here if this is indeed where we're supposed to go. Don't wanna go in there just yet. It could also be that the design of the, uh, the little sand sanctuary area is the same as the design of the tracks out here. I can see them doing it that way. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Let's go back into the sand sanctuary real quick then. It's the only thing that really makes sense, I think. We'll go ahead and let this loop around one time. Kill a couple more sand sharks, maybe get some train hearts back. Three routes. I think I'm able to use the map and zoom back out and look at the chart. Make some sense of my chicken scratch uh, arrows there I drew all over. Had a couple of problems in both this one and Phantom Hourglass where it's like, hey, there's all these statues and they're facing a certain way. Like, I think in Phantom Hourglass you had a shovel, so they would tell you to go dig where all the statues are facing. And it's, it's harder than you might imagine to draw it exactly where the game intends you to draw it. It looks like they may have moved away from having the precise, like, tile-perfect positioning of things. Like they did with the, um, the shovel. Hey, Plaster! Cool! Yeah, Merry Christmas! Your company are having a good time. It's good seeing you. Thanks for popping in. No. Uh -oh. I think my train heals when I stop somewhere, but I'm not 100% sure. Hey, Andrea. How you doing? All right. Now the question is. Did you beat the sand temple? I'm working oh, on it. So in Jeopardy, they had a question about cosmology, and none of them knew it, but I totally did. <laughs> The answer was multiverse. I, th mm. I think that this is a microcosm of the rail map, but it's hard for me to look at both of them at the same time. So let's try to remember there's a square on the right, a square on the top left, a rectangle on the bottom middle, and then this like doozy shape thing in the middle. Thanks for stopping in, Plaster Master. I'm yeah, sure it's good to have you. That. I did. No. The beer and fight was pretty cool. I was stuck on it for a bit though, Koompa. Yeah, it is. It's the same thing. So we think that it's like here? Question mark? So we're watching It's a Wonderful Life where like 80% of the movie is a really shitty life. Have you seen that movie? <laughs> yes. I feel bad for that poor guy. His life is just like doing nice things for lots of people and never realizing his dreams. But Clarence gets his wings. So it's okay. <laughs> First try. Man, those are pretty cool hiding spot. <laughs> so, what is the multiverse? I can't believe we got that in the first go. Maybe the game is just being extra yeah. super. Yeah. The answer is not in the form of a question. So check this out. This this map that we're on here, I want to explain what the, the puzzle is. Um, if you look on the map at the top screen there, 
it's a microcosm of the actual rail map where we are. And when you go out there, you see there's all these statues that are facing a certain way. So you write down on the map where they're facing, you draw lines to see where they connect, and you throw a bomb there. And I think it was pretty... <laughs> How many of those have you had? Three. Okay. All right. There we go. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to associate Spirit Tracks with Drunk Andrea. You can watch it tomorrow then. Yeah, Goomba, if it had been, um... <laughs> So my sister just said that she pre-gamed Die Hard 5 by watching Die Hard 1 through 4. It's pretty good. And that it was my Valentine's Day date with my boyfriend. Nice. Oh, that was her Five. Valentine's Day date. Nice. Y'all have a great relationship. Uh, there was a bunch of dudes and then me and Matt watching <laughs> Die Hard 5 in the theater. That puzzle would have been much more difficult in <laughs> Phantom Hourglass because it would have required you to use the uh, shovel. But you have to dig in a single tile or location. Sure did. I could see him getting stuck here for a while. Who's the buddy cop in Die Hard? Talking about Carl Winslow? I forget the actual name of the actor, but that's who he played on Family Matters. <laughs> okay, I need to concentrate here. This part's really hard. I appreciate that. <laughs> Do I need to stay away from them? It's pretty tough, especially with the, where the microphone is placed on the 3DS. We'll see how long this takes us to do, especially with Drunk Andrea and the microphone placement. <laughs> Alright, let's give it a try. We'll see it. Let's give it a shot. You gotta get a lot of breath. You'll run out usually. We may have gotten it. We'll see. Yeah, we got it. First try. First we've gotten try. we've gotten first try on every uh, pan flute thing so far. It's been pretty tough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Orson Welles. <laughs> oh no! No, throw your 3DS. I have a bit more of a. I have a, uh, a kind of an intuition for rhythm games. I play lots and lots and lots of them, so I've got a bit of a. When we get a, a house, we want to be able to play rock band, so you can see how awesome he is on drums. Oh, she's exceedingly drunk. So this is the second time PB has tuned into the stream, <laughs> and PB's perception of you is just this drunk woman who I'm sits sorry, next to me when I'm playing Spirit drunk, Tracks. It's just I'm spending the week with my family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who you love very much, your sister, one of whom is sitting right across from I you. I do love my sister. <laughs> yeah. I love her. Hey, Calvin. Merry Christmas. Yes. How you doing? <laughs> you encounter the big eye that looms in the shadows. Then you will need to navigate the twisted tunnels, and finally you will face the impenetrable temple. What awaits you there, you'll have to see with your own eyes. Good job, Bob Ross. Mm-hmm. 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 
bow of light. That sounds like endgame. Yep, that's correct. We needed to defeat the demon king, Maladus, who's currently possessing Zelda's body. Oh no, he's possessing Zelda? Yeah, you saw that last time, remember? No, I don't remember that. Kind of dead body. She was kind of hovering throughout the whole game. She was a ghost. Well, she, the reason she's a ghost is because she was separated from her body. Wait, they're so using that's her body. Not possess Zelda. No, that's Zelda, the ghost. That's real Zelda. So Zelda has a ghost and a body. Okay, I'm sorry. That's not. We all real have a spirit Zelda. and a, a correct. Okay, got it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Evil Zelda has nasty, scary red eyes, Ooh. and lives on a like Ganon face train, or I guess hey, demise face train. It's scald. Hi, Scald. How you doing? She's very drunk. I'll probably be apologizing for her for the next hour and 40 minutes. No, it's okay. <laughs> I love her very much. All right, let's go up this way. We're going to have to go around the Fire Realm, it looks like, to get there. It's interesting. You don't have the fire earrings. Mm. No, it's just that the Sand Temple is the... Pyramid in the top right corner there, and the track goes up and then around. Merry Christmas okay, to you, Scald. <laughs> Poor Sand Temple. Oh, no, there's a shark. Oh, good. Um, there's a sand shark. Dune shark. You're good. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Scald. How's your holiday been? Doing anything special? Hanging out with family? You're good. Hey, Flarewing. How are you and Apex doing? You guys uh, still on to try to do some Zelda Triforce Heroes tomorrow night? First trial is the Great Eye in the Dark. I'm going to get to geek out about Star Wars a little bit, which we watched again today. Which Be careful, but drunk Andrea. Don't out, talk about it. Oh, there you go. Very good. I'm glad that you're... Five days, five days, girl. It's, we're not going to talk about spoilers on that for the duration of its yeah, existence, it's I think. Oh, wow. That's, uh, that's pretty smart. Interesting yeah, idea that you had. Heroes, cool, let's play on it. If it changes, let me know, no worries. But I recognize it is Christmas night. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. at the bombs. That's a really cool way to do this fight where you see these bomb barrels and you have to shoot them to slow it down. Awesome flaring. I loved it. Um, Force Awakens is a movie that just has me grinning a big smile for the entire duration so if you haven't seen it yet I recommend you check it out especially if you're a fan of Star Wars this guy's pretty nasty yeah I was a big big fan hey Johan are you staying up to try to catch Santa <laughs> Over yet, Happy like, holidays, Yahan. Good seeing you. Or whatever it's called, like, tracks that. Hey, Dark Star. Happy holidays. Yeah, cheers to those watching Marstead play Spirit Tracks <laughs> on Christmas. Seem to have made it through. Catch your breath when you're ready. Let's move on to the second trial. Can I catch my breath? It would be nice if I could, like, restock. Yo, my mom is, like, not a huge Star Wars fan. Oh, the overview worked? It did. Also, it's a great movie, so... That's the way we want to go. Hopefully we're not going backwards Flash through the tunnel. <laughs> Yahan, you come from the land where, like, Krampus is a thing, right? I come from the land down under. No, I'm not... under. <laughs> Let's <laughs> 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 so return to where we started. I don't think we'll make it through here on Luck Alone. Make sure you take good notes on where to go. 
Kaihan, huh. does Kaihan still believe in Stana? Is that a thing that y'all do in Finland? I think they have Krampus. Oh, I'm sorry, does she still believe in Krampus? I don't know if Santa is also a thing. We'll leave it to Yahan to explain their, their ways. Cool. This is great. Learning about new cultures. This looks like a dead end, but maybe it's not. They're a dead end. Okay, that was incorrect. Let me save my game just in case we die doing this part. Maybe we need to go back the way we came? That's the only thing I can think to do. Yeah. Yes, she is! That was, I think, my Christmas present? I asked her. <laughs> Yeah, and Lisa made also, a pretty sizable one-time donation that helped out quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Let me mark this stuff on the map. And, I, and my dad was nice enough to upgrade the uploading speed of the internet. Okay, I think we want to go right here. Yeah, everybody just helping out. It's been really cool. I'll try to figure it out, uh, PP, thank you, though. I think we want to go backwards here, it's usually the rule. Go left. Hey, Angel lost a card, Nomad, how you guys doing? Alright. Could try going backwards again just to see if that Angel. is right. It does look right, though. Hey, Angel lost a card, happy holidays to you. Uh, I think we actually want to go straight here. Yeah, Marcy. Going backwards. He's wrong. got the Santa goatee. <laughs> That's like. Oh, what thanks, the Calvin. Thing we tried really hard to make it happen. I don't want to lose. It's, it's easy to lose momentum with something like a holiday week, right? We're at least doing it on an abbreviated schedule. It's fine. And we'll have, you know, made some more progress on Zelda at the end of the week. No more tunnels up ahead. That means we made it through the second trial. Alright, that was actually not so bad. Um, let me mark the last one in case we have to go through that again in the future. If we get one more chance to bump into Beetle, what's he doing down here? Yeah, I hear you flaring. <laughs> Thank you for popping in at all, it's good seeing you. Alright, so here we're gonna go down to... Temple entrance, yep. Are right around the corner here. We're about there. We're about there. When will we get there? Soon. When will then be now? We're at now now. When will soon be now? Soon. When will soon be now? Is it now? We're we're at now now. Yeah, Patreon API is already taken care of. Uh, there's a Oh shit. Can we save before we come in here? Yes, Hope so. Well, wait. You saved what killed you? There's cannons on this side of the uh, temple. Who puts cannons near a temple? Someone who really wants to defend their temple. Yeah, someone's already done a use the Patreon API for Twitch alerts, so we're good. It's called Twitch Center. They got it all hooked up, so mine should be working right now. What PD says. Yeah, PB, I'll try to figure it out. Um, if I get stuck, I might ask for tips. For now, let me try to figure it out if you would, please. He is super smart, and he can probably figure it out within, like, two to three attempts. Oh, that's awesome, Yahan. So, let me... Let me... I want to do a rhyme option. Yep, somebody really? set it up. Patreon really? alerts are now working with uh, Twitch that's alerts. Did I say that? How do you do the double D? Check that the Christmas decorations were taken down! We need that! No, I've been away since the Mario Maker update came out. Um, my Wii U is in California, so I'll check it out when I get home. We'll do a Mario Maker day this upcoming Wednesday. Maybe instead of Smash, we'll do Mario Maker and Zelda Triforce Heroes. If it works okay this week. What all did they add to it? They added, um... They added a couple new costumes. 
Uh, I think they added the hidden doors that only can, are visible when you have a P switch. Is that right? They gotta have that P switch. So can we talk about how there should totally be some kind of holiday figure that punishes you if you put up decorations before Thanksgiving? <laughs> U.S. Thanksgiving, not this Canadian stuff. <laughs> so, no offense to all the Canadians that Canada, we love in so chat. Earlier. I don't want Christmas stuff happening earlier. Is there a reason? Uh, it's annoying. It's annoying enough that it happens four weeks before Christmas, let alone six weeks before Christmas. Mm -hmm. That's the reason, not because I don't like it. But Tana, if you want to have your Thanksgiving like December 10th, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. And then we can have a holiday figure that punishes you and you put your, your Christmas decorations up to it. If you're new to the stream, welcome. My name is Marcet. I'm trying to beat every awesome game ever made live on Twitch. This is my very drunk wife, Andrea. Uh, if you're joining the stream before, but only for spirit tracks, I assure you that she's not usually this drunk. Um, no, you're fine, and usually doesn't. Uh, <laughs> but it's it's the holidays, right? So it's a special time of year. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Spirits. I'm bumpers. Oh, the bumpers are cool, and the clown car that shoots fire is kind of nice. How does how does the bookmark thing work? Is it so you can bookmark a level that you want to come back to, or I follow the rest of them? Oh God, Angel Asukara, <laughs> that's a bummer. You just festive. Thank you, Dark Star. Now let's go. All right, Sand Temple hype. Let's go. Oh, Asukara, you like a ho Halloween? Halloween's a good holiday. Yeah, Christmas absorbs all the holidays around it. Makes sense. Like, what's the holiday oh, that gets people to spend lots of money? It smells awfully dusty in here, and the air is stagnant. Bothered me at first, but I'm kind of getting used to these dungeons. Are you sure it's not just sandy? This is sand shuffle, right? I would give you like a bad pun, <laughs> but I don't even know if it merits that because like sandy just means sandy. Yeah, but what's the difference between sand and dust? Oh. Sand is silicon dioxide. Yeah. And dust I guess so, yeah. Skin flakes. Hmm. When we hit this thing, it makes that hammer go. I don't know what that does yet. Play around with it. Can I roll this thing? Are you getting all the rabbits? Uh, no, I won't be catching all of the rabbits. I have been having fun when I bump into them. I mentioned this a little bit earlier, but, um, you know you off. You from those pots? Hearts. You're full on hearts. You know what you needed? Like, arrows or something. When I'm not playing on Twitch, my. Focus is to 100% every single game I play, but it turns out that when you're playing live, uh, a lot of the stuff you have to do to 100% of the game is very, very boring to watch. And as cool as it is to go and collect all the rabbits, like, you know, I can probably do a dungeon in the time it takes me to catch a few of the rabbits. Well, in November 1st is Dia de los Muertos. So with the, the stream goal being let's try to beat as many awesome games as possible, if we tried to 100% them, we would never actually finish anything. I think this is going to be a bad idea, but let's test it. You're a bad idea. Okay, so it like it does damage me, but then it knocks me away. It wasn't as bad Got as you thought. Got some pots. No. Could have been worse. All right, let's go round. That's pretty cruel. Got a little pit of death there. Pretty precise usage of the stylus. <laughs> How you doing? Don't think I can go across here. One sec. Hey, how you doing? Good. How are you? My mom, and she's awesome. Hi. That's very helpful that they showed us that eyeball there. Yahan is telling us about Christmas and Finland. Oh wow! <laughs> so there's this. How cool! Hey Lisa. Yeah. Is the Mom said. Huh. Mom said. Oh, I love that. Name. Oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, Don't you hi have there. enough? You can go shopping. We love having Andrea, Dylan, and Lisa mm -hmm. here. It's awesome. <laughs> ah, go. Dylan is in the sand temple, so he's battling the skeletons mm. in order to reach the final boss. Yes. Yeah. Mm. I'm sure he's uh, there to, to save yeah. the world. Yep. That's pretty much the, the story. Don't say that's my Bob. Mm. God. Well, no, me. Probably me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, she's I'm the sister. Who's the other person? Yeah. Who's the other person? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> 
you got a small key. Crazy. That's cool. My mom was driving a van and offered me candy. You should take it. She's yeah. Very trustworthy. Link, link to the past boulders, spiky, but much trickier because here we have to move and dodge them with the uh, the stylus. So it's, it requires some precision. I'll just draw where I want Link to go to. Mm -hmm. I tap on it. It's actually pretty tricky. Right. So we solved that puzzle. The game did its little conveyance thing where it showed us uh, where the the eye was. If it didn't show it to us, we would have been stuck there for a while trying to figure out where to go. Yeah. Uh, they're not like likes, but I'm not a fan of them. They're not. They don't respond to. Can I? Okay, blowing wind at them doesn't do anything. Yeah. Uh, maybe. You think bombs are gonna do it? Try bombs. Oh, well, it was worth a try, man. Is that is that is that how I should approach problems in life, Andrew? I should flee. It looks like sorting them doesn't do anything, so maybe the item I get in this dungeon lets me interact with them. <laughs> I'm playing Spirit Tracks on my 3DS. I've got a 3DS capture card. Um, it's tough to capture video from a 3DS. I'm going to not let them touch me. Oh, that's on a higher level. Right, we're good. We avoided it. Everything's fine. Everything's good. I think there's nothing to go that way. We'll go upstairs. Upstairs? Good. That's the level where the chests are. What's this guy? Uh -oh. Alright, these uh -oh. dudes. So I draw a path for my boomerang, and the boomerang follows the path. So I can try to hit all of them at the same time. So that's the lane. He's the story. Uh -huh. He is trying to help Zelda because Zelda's had her body possessed by some new person. It's actually just a ghost because she doesn't live in her body anymore. Mm -hmm. Wow. And so he has to go and kick the mean person out of her body. Zelda's wow. primarily a game about solving but now puzzles. Now she's a ghost, she can do cool things like possess the bad guys and make them into good guys. <laughs> so, you know, she's helped. The sand wand. Tap any sandy area to raise the sand into a wall. That's kind of cool. See, that Zelda is the ghost. So we're probably going to oh, use that okay. to solve puzzles in this dungeon here. Zelda's his friend. Oh, kind of wishes was his girlfriend. Oh. So, all right, we took that wand. Oh, so it was a load-bearing item. Sort of like uh, Indiana Jones. Oh, that's really cool. Check that out. You can make little platforms with the sand, and then you can use them. Oh, that's how you get those chests. And you can draw. That's really cool. And then I was able to climb up here. That's a really cool item. Thank you guys in chat who've played this game for not spoiling that item for me. So Bob Ross was included on Twitch. Uh, it's actually kind of interesting. Twitch, Twitch creative. Yeah, right. Twitch Creative grew into a thing because uh, people were doing gaming on Twitch and then they were also doing art or sometimes they do uh, game development and that sort of a thing and uh, oh, shoot. they would just stream their doing art or stream their playing games and over time people started to do Twitch Creative for things that weren't video game related just other kinds of arts they were working on I don't think I can catch that one just now. Maybe I can do it later. I can do anything with that. Try to get some more hearts would be nice. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this item. It has some really cool puzzle design space. We'll see. Can I use it to kill these guys? Is that the shtick here? Yeah. Looks like I get all the sand off of them. Then can I stab them to death? Oh! I remove all the sand from their bodies. See? So I remove all the sand from their bodies, and then I can destroy them. That's cool, Calvin. I didn't know somebody just did beat sprites. I'll be doing that on stream eventually. Sure. Yeah, see you later. Thanks for popping in, ma'am. <laughs> hey, Yukapo. Thanks for popping in. Merry Christmas to you, too. How is your holidays? You can't stay for long. I see the Bob Ross still It's Well... On Mondays, that's correct. They didn't want to have a Twitch Plays Pokemon fiasco where 
they you know they did it too much and people stopped being interested in it so they just do it once a week and then on his birthday they're going to do a marathon of the whole thing like they did the first time <laughs> what do i want for christmas nothing really um i don't really care so much for christmas presents anymore like usually if i want something i'll just get it for myself so usually when it comes to Christmas presents, it's the sort of thing that would be nice, but I don't really want to buy for myself. So the canonical thing for me is like socks are the best Christmas present. I need socks, but I don't want to spend the money on picking them up. Oh, this is cool. Look, do you see this puzzle, Andrea? So you turn the little spinny thing into a bridge. I didn't realize that until just now. Later, Pusheen. Cool. See you around. If not, see you next time. Of course, guys, if you want to check up on this playthrough, see the videos so far, go to zelda.marsted.com, has all of these Zelda videos specifically, or you can go to... Yeah, I'll give you permission. Do oh, that's cool, I can move the boulder around. There's a lot of cool puzzles you can do with this. Yeah, you can go for it, Yaha, that's fine. You don't have to type anything. You don't have to type anything. No, you're fine. There we go. Open the door. Diet Mountain Dew and headphones. <laughs> yeah, I guess I could get like Diet Coke and drink a lot of that. Yeah, I've got a new Nintendo 3DS. Um, it's pretty nice. I don't think it's, it's anywhere near necessary if you have an existing working 3DS right now, but that might change. I'm sorry? Can I open no, the do not. Do not. Okay, you'll have to do it on your phone. I'm gonna look at these on my computer. Yeah. Yeah, it would be fun to do, uh, I, I would need to have three people to really play um, Zelda Triforce Heroes, because you can't do a mix of online and local, unfortunately. <laughs> That's my wife, Andrea. She's a little drunk today. Um, Oh, this is Lisa. And I'm not drunk. And she's not at all drunk. She's completely sober in every way. <laughs> Lisa is my wife Andrea's sister, so she's my sister-in-law. Earlier, the woman you saw was my mother-in-law, Denise. Okay, what does that do? Let me hit all of them. Hopefully it's a permanent opening to the door here. This is interesting. Do we use this as a a bridge? This is such a cool design for a puzzle. I'm a big, big, big fan of it. Can I climb up particularly high? It doesn't look like it. Not drunk. Well, I'm not. My sister is. Oh, I, I can climb on it, kind of, sort of. This is just mm -hmm. how I am every day. Yeah, my wife is the one who's drunk. Not my sister-in-law, Lisa. Alright, up! Oh, I did just make... Alright, up. Uh, I don't think I can climb up. It looks like I can kind of get on this, but only if I'm already on it. That sounds awful. He's boiling a child! I don't know if you can hear Andrea yelling in dismay at this, uh, or delight, I can't tell. One of the two. <laughs> Dismay or delight. Uh, all right, let's loop here. If you don't know, that's not how it's There's a J O U something something. Yeah, Jemima, I hear the the inability to communicate isn't really my problem with Triforce Heroes. It's that uh, if you have any disconnect problems when you're playing with people, that it starts you back over. It doesn't give you a chance to let them reconnect, so it can be really, really stressful. Yeah, I'm saying this is really, really cool design space. The sand wand, I like it a lot. You can draw on the sand. Yes, sand wand. Good. I'm glad it's called that. It is only usable on sand. It appears. 
Yeah. I know, Amir was asking if I could use it on anything else. Alright, let's see. Let's... It's not a tile wand. I don't think we can get out of here safely, because when this thing lands on me... Oh no. Don't want it to land on me though, because I'm down to one heart and I'm getting the infernal beeping sound, right? There we go. Hey, listen. I haven't gotten lost at all, what are you talking about? Alright, where are we going this way? <laughs> Y'all are ridiculous. I've just been a straight arrow of progress so far today. Looks like this gives me a shortcut, maybe? That's kind of nice. So I don't have to do the tricky boulder puzzle a second time. I can use the sand wand to avoid it. Uh, yeah, I got hearts. That's definitely good. Don't hear the beeping anymore. Do those just go in a bad sequence now? I don't think they used to. Hmm, that's interesting. Why is that working differently than before? Or am I just making it up? No, I don't think you are. I think they're more spaced out there, like... Phew, looks like I could still cross, though. Alright, I want to get over there. I don't know that I can reach it, though. What happens? Ah! Oh, neat. That's cool. Lots of cool design space for this item. Big, 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 big fan of it. Alright, there we go. Open the door. I'll, I'll take this brief opportunity while Andrea's not in here to drunkenly interrupt me. <laughs> I'm Marsted. Hey, how's it going? If you're new to the stream, I'm trying to beat every awesome game ever made live on Twitch. Uh, we're working through a lot of titles other than the Zelda series. Also, Final Fantasy, Metroid, uh, Uncharted, Phoenix Wright. We're probably going to play uh, either tomorrow or later next week. If you want to see some of the games we played on stream, you can go to games.marsted.com. Um, if you're just here for Zelda, that's cool too. It will return. We're going to keep playing through all the games in the Zelda series until we beat them all. The next one after Spirit Tracks in the timeline is none other than uh, Link to the Past, my personal favorite Zelda. So it'll probably be played next week Thursday after we finish Spirit Tracks. I don't think we're going to wrap it up today. Yeah, that can be really frustrating, Jemima. Um, I, whenever I've played... Triforce Heroes, it's primarily been either with people in Twitch chat or with uh, friends that are in TeamSpeak with me, so I kind of get to cheat that issue a little bit. Oh, look at that. I guess you come to this area. Why would you expect to find a key here? I think that as you come up here, and you're like, why is this area here? And you just check everything, because otherwise there would be no reason for there to be this sandbar. Yeah, there was a key buried in the sand, and by lifting it up, I was able to pull it out. So just like, how, what was the conveyance there? Well, there really wasn't any other than the anti-conveyance of I'm in this area that seems suspicious and doesn't seem to let me do anything. Alright, so let's continue this way. Ignore the... I did play Link Between Worlds. Not on stream yet, though. Um, I played it when it came out. It is amazing. It's uh, one of my favorite Zeldas. I know people have some issues with it, the way that it's uh, organized, but it feels like a love letter to fans of Link to the Past, which I most certainly am. Yeah, I really like Link Between Worlds. It's so good. It has one of the best like story bits of any Zelda game. So sound effects, unfortunately, aren't going to work. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> they're they're fueled by my bot that's at my computer at home. So when you type that command, it's making the conveyance sound effect play in my living room and freaking my cats out. Oh, keep doing it. Yeah. <laughs> and possibly my very nice... Uh, yeah, exclamation point before it. You have to do it with the randos? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. That makes it pretty tough. Alright, so I think we want to use this spiny thing, if we can line them up correctly. Oops, not like that. No, maybe like that. We can use this as a bridge if we're smart about it. Smart about it, not stupid about it. Come on, Link. Listen to the things that I say. Ah, Link! That one's on you, Mario. You have to go all the way across. I was wondering, like, why do they have spikes just on the sides like that? But it's set up that way so that it's harder to cross. Okay, let's let's just do them one at a time, and we'll do it slow. There we go. 
they give you some time to fix it when you make a mistake, which is nice. I did a little bit too much sand there, but that's okay. Just keep saving these here. Crap, that's also too much, but we're just going to wait. There's no hurry here. There we go. I found a chest. I found a chest. I found a chest. Hey, 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 hey. How's it going, Reaper Cheap? Good to see you. Nice, Pusheen. That, I really, really like all the boss fights in that game. I like how they made it just almost completely non-linear, where you can just buy all the items from that shop at the beginning. Um, some people have said that the problem with doing that is that then they can't really have you using multiple items. Hey, thank you for the hosts. I appreciate that, Amir. You can't really use multiple items uh, in a dungeon because you can't count on the player having more than one item, you know? Alright, so I think that we can say that this whole area is done. We don't need to return to it. I'm doing alright. Merry Christmas. Appreciate that, Amir. Thank you. Uh, how... Whoa. Can we not have that? I don't think there's much else for us to do in this area here, right now anyway. Get back up to the room we just came from, that's about it. I'll wait on that thing to get stuck somewhere where we can cross, I think is the rule. There we go. Definitely need to get some more hearts if we can pick them up. Alright, um, nothing over this way, I don't see any doors marked on the map. Just out of curiosity, let's look at the map. How many floors do we have? Two, three. And maybe it doesn't, I don't, it might not actually mark the doors if we haven't been to the floor yet. Try going westerly, we haven't really been that way. I've been, uh, I've been bad at watching. What is that about the compass? Yeah, do you have the map? Or the this game doesn't have the compass, but oh, really? yeah, it, um, I think they might have done, they've, phased the compass out. Like, there wasn't one in uh, speed... Skyward Sword. That's the name of the game. But we do... You start with the map always. Uh, and the dungeons in this one, you just get the item for the dungeon. Or remove the sand from these guys. We can damage them. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's interesting. I was like... You always have to be suspicious whenever an enemy respawns immediately. It means you probably need them for a puzzle, right? But sure enough. All right. I like those kinds of kinds of puzzles. Those are fun. All right. So here, this is quicksand, so we have to have a little platform to walk on it. Quicksand. They have luck. Yeah. Bad decisions. <laughs> I don't think I ever died in uh, Link Between Worlds, but it's you can you can prevent it by getting fairies in bottles, or you can make it a lot less likely to die because then they'll just res you whenever you go down. Okay, it trivializes a lot of Zelda games, almost like you think they would do away with it, but I, I think they kind of have it there for people to have a slightly easier time. This is a really cool puzzle, by the way. So I need to I need to rotate it such that that blue like diamond is pointing down into the uh, the hole there. That's cool. So I have to figure out the right way to move it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> oh, I see. So now, has anything changed? This is a really neat puzzle, I'm a big fan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we gotta get this so it's rotated in just the right way. Does that make it flip back the way that it was, maybe? Hold on, let's try bumping it into a wall that it's already at. Kinda does. Oh, I, th I think I see how we can do this, maybe. Mm. 
No, that's just propping it back up on top. Alright, hold on. Come on. This is a little bit harder than it looks as far as like getting it to do what you want it to do. You get it facing down. Now if it were on the top, we would be golden right here, but we're not, so. How about we go up here? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. That just reverses it. Tap the opposite side. Well, I, I know how to get it to where I want it to go. Oh, you just need to tap it, you're saying? Don't actually need to, like, draw something behind it? Okay, now we got it on the bottom. That's what we want. That's gonna do it. Thanks, Spikey. That was helpful. We can get it to happen. Just make one pillar to roll it. Yeah, thanks, guys. It was mostly that was an execution issue more than it was a, uh, a solving the puzzle issue. Right, what's this do? Right, can we... Ah, I think I get it. I think we want to like, move this rock onto the switch. Well, maybe not first. Maybe we want to get it on this thing. What does that do for us? Nothing yet. Super cool. Big fan. Oh, you know what it might be is that I might need to, in order to get more than one rock, I probably need to be standing on that. Yeah. So it's it's keeping me from walking around to solve this puzzle. So I gotta get rid of the rock. Hey random, how you doing? Merry Christmas to you. Happy holidays. Yeah, exactly. Alright, so we're gonna stand here. Exactly. I should be able to do that from here. Clever puzzle. This is a really cool item. Um, I'm glad that they added this. There's quite a few items that are carries over from earlier Zelda games, but this one's pretty neat. Alright, and now I probably need to, you know, now I need to use a rock to hold the switch down. Don't crush Link, though. Come on. Alright. Good enough. Good enough. That's phrase of the day. Do we need to mess around with those? Oh god. <laughs> I should have known the earlier one was just training. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, you just walk in and you see it and you're like, I, I know what I'm in for. At least they do this like zoom out so you can see it a little more easily. That's not right either, though, because the blue thing will be in there, but the red one is not. Now, does it work on the other side, maybe? No, that's not right either. At least they show you the little color where it's supposed to be as well. Uh, let's try... Pop it, pop it. I can get blue there, but that's not right. That's also wrong. I have a feeling I've seen the vision of the Monado, and I know that I'm going to be stuck on this puzzle for a while, so talk amongst yourselves. I'll give you a topic. Yeah, tap, don't draw. Definitely helps. Taylor Swift songs are really good, but oh. is too afraid to admit it because I like Taylor Swift songs. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Oh, hi, Kaihan. Oh, she's so sweet. Hi, Kaihan. Kaihan is Yahan's daughter. So I think I can get this all the way over here. Marstead also thinks that Taylor Swift songs are clever. Mm hmm. Although, most of them are written by, what's the guy's name, Max, the uh, Swedish guy. A Swedish producer who's close to having as many uh, number one hits as John Lennon. See, Amir likes Taylor Swift. Excellent. I'm just saying, like, she's got a good 
He's got a good song. Hmm. All right. Well, let's let's figure this out. This one has to be. <laughs> let's figure out which of these switches goes where. It's going to help a lot. Uh, let's try to get this one rotated such that I can see both the blue spike and the. Right. So if that were down, if we were managed to rotate this one so red was down. <laughs> I just like oh him God. because they do all of the hard leg routines to Justin Bieber songs and jazz or side. So I associate Justin Bieber with pain I'm okay <laughs> with this block puzzle. We're just going to keep doing it in a loop here. I think that's an easy way to rotate it. That just did us in the opposite direction that we wanted. <laughs> that's adorable, Yahan. Thank you for sharing that. We'll talk more about how adorable Yahan is and less about... Um, Less about Justin Bieber's penis. All right, let's go down. How old is uh, Kaihan? Looks like that even rotates. So what I should figure out, I should do this in reverse. I should figure out what direction does the block need to be facing in the penultimate step. Um, I guess if I wanted, if this was working, I would need to have uh, red would have to be on the right here. And Dylan, if you were an idiot, it'd be easy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Trickster. <laughs> Kaihan is eight. The the the, the red the red circle has to be on the right side from this position, and the blue triangle needs to be where. If it's on right. No, it doesn't need to be right. That would be incorrect. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to solve it. Now, I guess part of the problem here is that I can't fill two at the same time, so maybe I'm making this more complex than it needs to be. Oh. <laughs> You're welcome, Talon. <laughs> All right, let's go. Also, Yahan, you should tell Kahan that she's very wise for an eight. Usually I try to keep this stream PG-13 or so. Um, I can't really guarantee that. Is this like actual age or like age that you um, act as? Let's go here. I think I can get that blue <laughs> one maybe. <laughs> Sir, welcome to the Marcin's channel where his drug wife talks about Justin <laughs> I do try to keep that not like the subject not of the stream. I to associate that with <laughs> That's my fault. That's not his fault. I take full credit. For Merry that. Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. <laughs> but you Happy saw holidays. the pre-Photoshop, post-Photoshop Calvin Klein ad. Thank you for the follow, Trickster Chris. Despite, <laughs> or perhaps because of my <laughs> wife. Thank you. Oh no. Okay, I don't think that killed us. Right, now, does it stay open when we do that? Do you think? This appears to just be a shortcut, but we'll take a look here and see if we can figure it out. So if you're just joining us, hey, I'm Mars Set. I'm trying to beat every awesome game ever made live on Twitch. Uh, if you're just here for Zelda, it will return. We're going to be playing Spirit Tracks today for another hour until 7 o'clock Pacific. And then we're going to be switching to other more different game. That game is signing off for the night. <laughs> <laughs> that game is called sleep. <laughs> yeah. I'm used to switching games when I talk about what time we're playing until, but with my weird holiday schedule this week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who's the drunk one again? Apparently. Go get some eggnog. All right, so I'm about to find out. It looks like if we this is blue, beer. this door will open. So I think we were supposed to do Not blue first. Alcoholic eggnog. If you're actually 16. All right, let's go. Up. Whatever. <laughs> well, no, yeah, no. <laughs> I'm trying to think like the other way. Come on. Up, up. I think we need to move this one out of the way before that one will move the way we want it to. I don't know where he's from. <laughs> That's all we can. I think 
Let me get up closer to him. <laughs> Why won't this thing rotate the way I want it to? There we go. Okay, cool. Now we gotta get the blue one. It looks like we can have one open at a time. One but not both is kind of the rule here. Here we go. Yeah, this isn't so bad now. I had, uh, I had con- I had convinced myself that what we needed to do here was fill in both of the switches at the same time. I, I overcomplicated it. But now that I understand it, it's actually not too, too bad. I've seen worse. So I always remember the capital of Arkansas, because it's Arkansas a little rock. Arkansas a little rock? Is that your name? Yes. Arkan is a person. Don't try not to yell if you would. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> this is my sister-in-law Lisa, the person who's slightly like off-screen is my wife Andrea. I can saw a little rock. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we want to get up on this roller if we can. I do like the idea of using the roller as a bridge. It's very smart. Ow, it's bad. Link's close to death, and I don't have any potions now. I also have any way to get on the roller. You know, let's just let them chill out here. Okay, now they're off with each other, which is what we want. Let's see if we can cross down here. Hit the switch. What does it do? What? What are you? What are you doing? Cl be just, very I careful. Just, I was making sure that was still green. Yep. Because it, of that. Okay, thank you. Just be very careful. No, I'm, Here, I'm gonna pull I'm this one over. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for checking. I appreciate it. <laughs> Amir will just get incredibly disrespectful. Right. Right now I'm running right. forward, running backwards, <laughs> running sideways. There's a green glowy thing. I'm trying to cross a spiky bridge. So there we go. Crossed a spiky bridge. Oh, okay. If, a door closed behind me. if someone in chat would like to help me out, help a uh, Amir out, you can link to the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash marsted slash live. You can actually watch the live stream there too. I'm multi-streaming to both services, so if you're having buffering problems on Twitch, someone could try watching on YouTube. Sometimes you can have better luck with it there. Also Hitbox technically, but I think that if you have trouble on uh, YouTube, you're probably going to have trouble on Hitbox as well. Let's see, where is this thing? This is the first time we actually get to kill these guys, I think. Hey, we got a heart. That's good. Where's the last guy? There he is. Cool. Very nice. And the door to the north opens up. Anything else in here? What was the... Some... There's gotta be like a boss key in here, right? Why else would there be... Yeah, called it. Why else would they have a room over here? I, I do like that style of puzzle where it's like, the only reason you know to look for something is because why else would that room exist? That's cool, Trickster. Have you played this one yourself? This is my first time ever playing it. This one and Phantom Iron Glass, the only two Zelda games I never played before Twitch. See so if we can get through here before the spiky thing comes back. Oh, just barely. That was pretty stressful, though. Walk slower with the key. Alright, rock and roll. Now let's get... Let's open the door that we opened before. Wait, hold on. No, that's right. Come on, Link. Here you go. 
Okay, right on. Come here. Um, this one we want to loop around a little bit. I think we want to take advantage of the fact that it stays up in certain places. Could also be rotating it around a corner there. See, if we loop this thing in the corner up here, we'll see what happens. This one's not going to work the way we were wanting it to here, I don't think. It's not at the current rate I'm rotating it. It's too bad that I did this in the wrong order, because I actually got it right with the red ones on the first try. Here we go. It's one. Haven't played any more Xenoblade Chronicles X yet, no. Just the first couple hours from the start of the game. Oops. We got this solved here. Yeah, but I played Xenoblade Chronicles X on stream on launch night. I haven't seen AFP, no. This is done now, right? I think so. Where'd the key go? There we go. There's the boss key. Ready for the boss fight? Let's see. <laughs> right, got some pots. Hopefully, we get some hearts. Good. I want to be stocked full. So, I don't have any. This one doesn't have fairies, actually. You can get uh, potions, which I don't have any of. Yeah, no fairies in this one or Phantom Hourglass. Oh, awesome. Goomba and Pusheen. I'm really excited to see it. I have no idea what I'm in for. I've Not only have I not ever played this, I've never watched it played, so. Completely blind. The fact they're giving me arrows is interesting. This is a shortcut, I think, if we wanted to leave and come back. Nope, I got no idea what's up next. Pretty stoked. I take a stab and guess that it involves the, uh, the sand one. About to walk in, yeah. Boss time. It has something to do with sand. That's a that's a reasonable guess. Okay, so we're gonna repeat this system of. Probably getting a boulder onto this um, catapult. Like a sand oh, there's a catapult! Catapults are cool. Yeah, and this dungeon has taught us about the catapults before the boss fight, so that's really cool. It it's a, a really. I love that they use the two screens to make it a bigger. Yeah. This is a blind. Yeah, this is this is one of only two. It's a skeleton. This is this is pretty sweet. There's a little hole in the bottom part of it. Skeldrich. The cool thing with this uh, this and all the boss fights in this game is that they teach you the mechanic for the boss earlier in the dungeon, which you oh, could argue so that everyone should do. <laughs> there you go, thank you. That's so much... Achieves the same end. You're fine. Got him. Jin and family. I guess Jin, why the Jin? Family. Cool. This is such a fun ah, boss fight, you see it? <laughs> yeah, is this a cool mechanic? I really, really like it. I don't think I can hit this any more than I have. No, not yet. Skeldritch is his name. Oh, that's cool that you can block his shit with your sand. Right? And then I have to move it onto the catapult. This is a very, very clever boss fight. This might be one of my favorite boss fights in like the Zelda series. Shit. Yeah, he did. That was my bad. Uh oh. Just run. Seeing lasers are bad thing. It's cool. It's cool. It's we're gonna fuck with shit up. I 
fact that he's giving so many at me is bad. I guess I need to get the block out of the way before he sends a second block at it to destroy it. Yeah, Argorok is a pretty cool boss fight, you gotta admit. Get it real quick. Ooh, that doesn't do anything. Alright, so I gotta do something different now. Is it that I have to have the whole thing on a higher level, maybe? Hmm. I'm not sure what the next step is going to be, actually, here. I can sword him here, but that doesn't do me any good, right? I broke part of the bottom of him, but I don't know what it does. I think so. I could try that, though. That's not a bad idea. Get that heart blood. can. So I'm not going to lock it. look at chat, because I'm going to try to solve this on my own. Um, you guys are welcome to interact with chat, though. Nope, that didn't do anything. It might be that I can, like, prime multiple switches at the same time. I don't know why I'd want to do that. I think, I think that's going to be the solution, though, is I have to get multiple of these set up at the same time and then hit them all with the boomerang. What? He keeps giving me uh, boulders. That's what you meant. Alright, now we've got two set up. Let's see if this works the way I think it does. Oh, it doesn't quite reach. Don't know if that did anything. Hmm. Demon Skeletor! Take damage! Who gave a skeletal laser? Seriously. What's going on today? That doesn't seem to be working, or is it? Can you guys let me know if I'm actually scoring a hit there? And if you guys would look at chat and let me know. Like, I, I knock it into the little thing on the bottom, but it doesn't seem to do anything when that happens. Oh, you have to aim at his back? Oh, I see, because that we got to get rid of all the armor on the bottom. Okay, thank you for the tip. Thank you, Spikey! Uh, I think we got just enough information, and that's well. <laughs> so I've only got so much information that I like. That's cool. That's really, really cool. neat. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Merry Christmas. Later, thanks it's for hanging out. That. Happy holidays. It's like my channel clear isn't set up to work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And a couple of people that were just manning chat. Really cool. What's doing? Shooting What's out doing? faster boulders. Whoa! That's rude! That's hella rude! Hold on, I need to concentrate for a sec. It's okay. Oh, they move through the... that sucks. They move through the sand, you can't completely block them. Oh, is it still on the back that I have to do it? Okay, I see. Yeah, my my chat clear because I'm not at my home computer. I don't think my chatty is set up to actually clear it, so. I saw it, but yeah, if you guys would, I will ask for a specific hint if I get stuck. Um, in the meantime, just let me try to figure it out on my own. I think it'll be more fun that way. It's a cool way to teach you the fight, though. The second time, it's a little bit more obvious what you're supposed to do, like where you're supposed to hit it. Kind of like how far away you have to go too to yes, shoot it. Skill, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what's happening next. Get back to the. There we go. This game is kind enough to pause the game while you're in the inventory. You didn't have to do that. Those things move really fast now, and they move through. You can't completely stop them with sand anymore. You can't. Yep, that's that's correct. That's the thing that I said. <laughs> mm -mm, what kind of game is it? It's like a co-op. It's a board game. It's a co-op game, and we 
is clearly formed. We need to be in it to all work together. Oh shit, I crushed the thing, so I can't just like cheat he this. He crushed it! Not that kind of crush. Bad crush. Oh, he shoots four of them now, so I can't just get away. That's why I didn't actually crush it. Try again. Yeah, that's really hard to do. I think we can do it, we just gotta be patient. He might do another eye laser, and I'm just gonna run. Yeah, so the problem is that he shoots one, then he shoots a second one, and it breaks the first one. So I can let the first one miss me, maybe? So there's an odd number of them? Like, not draw any, uh... Not draw any sand wand on the first go. He has already yep, played we did. PB, if you go to go to Zelda.marsted, I mean go to Zelda.marsted.com and you can see a list of all the YouTube playlists for all the Zelda games we've played. Zelda but it's Zelda.marsted.com. Yeah, because I figure there's people who just want to see Zelda, but you could also it's it's just a link to all the YouTube videos we've played so far. So there's all kinds of stuff on there. Yeah, I'm worried too. Keep these guys dead up here. We're gonna be as Alright, hold up, hold up. Now these things are in my way. I know I need to, but I gotta get this stuff out of the way first. He's got lots of aggro. Okay, oh, no way! Right. Demon has skills, he doesn't want to die. Can you play him? Oh, wait, I guess it's not. Oh, you can see there's a specific part of his back you have to hit. I hit the wrong one. Okay, hold on. Yeah, Alright. It's fine. Everything's fine, everything's good. This is the one. Now it's not behind him, but it's like on his flank. So you have to pay attention to his model to see where it is. I think that's probably going to do it. On his left? Body. Yeah. There we go. I'll oh, kick your ass, <laughs> bitch. What? Oh, he has like crystal now. Triforce, Triforce Heroes is apparently it's technically in the canon, which is very bizarre. It's this kind of weird. Uh, oh shit. How am I supposed Jesus. to do this? Jesus. You gotta hit his brain. His brain. His brain. His brain. His brain. His brain. Brain. I'm working on it. I can't get to it just now. Oh, hold on. I have an idea. I'll bite your legs off. I see. Can he not jump? Hit his brain. Yep, I'm on it. Hey, baby Choo Choo. I did damage it, yeah. How you doing, baby Choo Choo? Ouch. We're at the end of the sand temple. Being yeah, it's been lots of fun. By, like, destroying his brain. Hold on, Andrew. I gotta, <laughs> gotta focus on this part. Thank you. Uh, actually, that's... Yeah. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Kicked your ass. Merry Christmas, baby Choo Choo. How you doing? Happy holidays to everybody. Hey, Merry Serpent. Christmas. How you doing? Peace, love, and happiness to the world, except for that skeleton. Good seeing you. But we defeated him, and everything's fine. Everything's good. Mm -hmm. He was trying to stop Santa. My wife, Andrea, here is pretty drunk. Uh, my sister-in-law, I mean, Lisa, is not particularly drunk. No. I mean, honestly, we kind of just stormed into his resting place. Woke him up and just started. Hey, yeah, but we yeah. needed that heart container. This is actually Andrea would usually Zelda. argue on behalf of the skeleton monster. Yeah. Uh, no, Akifa, you have till the end of the year if you have 2,000 SP. It's enough to add a game. Just shoot me a Twitch message. I'll have to wait to do it till I get home because the bot's on my tower at home and not on my I'll laptop. Yeah, so I'll try to take wait. care of all that on Monday. <laughs> you might be able to get there. Yeah. <laughs> Then we can get ready for you. Yeah, I think I'll you and wait, wait. Andrea have enough to be able to add it. Yeah. yeah I'll go with you. So <laughs> Bow of light. Tap and charge. Fire bolts of divine light. You can play dress up. 
That's cool, Nomad. You can always, like, you know, get drunk on life. Alright, is it a separate item entirely? Or did you... No, it upgraded my regular bow. That makes sense. It's usually how it goes. And you have to charge it for a while for it to work. That's cool. You're cool. There you go. Naki, just shoot me that Twitch message. I'll make sure that I get it added by the end of the year. We're going to be playing Spirit Tracks for another 36 minutes. I don't think we're going to beat it, but um, you know, we'll play till then. Uh, tomorrow, at least, the plan is that Flarewing, Haypax, and I are going to do Zelda Triforce Heroes, which is the multiplayer Zelda game. Um, I can't promise a lot with Triforce Heroes. First of all, it's Christmas Day, so I'm not sure if their schedules are going to end up working out. And second of all, perhaps more notably, um, there's the connection issue that we might run into where my connection might be fine, but there might not work very well. So if that happens, we'll just play more Spirit Tracks and we'll finish it up. If you're just here for Zelda, it will return next week Thursday. We're going to wrap up Spirit Tracks and then transition immediately into the next game in the timeline, uh, which is Link to the Past, my personal favorite Zelda game. Cool. Thanks, Nomad. Drunk Wife is interesting. Jayhan, early when he started streaming, uh, me and my boyfriend Matt would get drunk and play You Don't Know Jack after his stream with people on Twitch. It was great. Hey. Yeah, well, the new You Don't Know Jack, like, your phone is the controller, so you can play with anyone who's on the Twitch stream. They just need to sign into the, you know, whatever the code is. And Tricks. Yeah. Trickster Chris, can you watch it on uh, on spoilers? I've never played the game before, so I'm trying to figure out on my own. If I get stuck, I'll ask for help. Um, I'm going to see if I can set chat clear to actually work. I think I've got it disabled right now. Um, mods, if you could help out with that. Maybe throw a timeout in that direction if it happens again. Thank you. But I, I did not read any of it. It's still showing on my screen. I'm just not reading it. Hey, Young G, how you doing? Don't read the spoiler! Whoa. <laughs> you're, you're about... 34 seconds late. <laughs> Don't read it! I won't. I got it. I'm reading the, the game story here. Biren's going to help us out at the end here. The goal with uh, Twitch is to play every awesome game. So we try to stay away from anything that's under like a 70 on Metacritic. I'm okay, Andrea. I won't look You're at okay? it. You're okay? Yeah. Right. Thank you for your help, though. That's cool. Oh, the Compass of Light. Well, you know, Lisa. Oh, it's like... Compass of yeah. Life? Shit, that sounds important. Light usually means end of game. Oh, no problem, Trickster. Light. If you want to talk spoilers with folks, you can uh, whisper people. Uh -huh. Or you can go into it. There's an alternate chat. We like to keep the version experience here. <laughs> drunk wife, drunk life. <laughs> <laughs> we must get the compass as soon as we can. As you know soon what they as we say? Can. Drunk wife, drunk life. <laughs> Marsha stream drunk. <laughs> Last time he was drunk, he said something like, Ram those titties! <laughs> not once, not twice, but thrice. That was in a game of picture it telling area. There was yeah. context there that I'm not And I was do. completely was sober. <laughs> <laughs> it was hilarious. I'm if you're new, I again apologize. Um, mm -hmm. Does the green mean that it's like a private message? Or is oh, that is he added? It means someone said my name. It highlights it. Cool. All right. I'm just chugging straight gin. <laughs> Premium behind the scenes Mars said content. Yeah, Calvin's got it. <laughs> it was at Quadrize. Huh? If you've never played Picture Telenary, I recommend it. It's a very cheap party game to play with friends. I, I prefer it to Cards Against Humanity. Uh, basically, you just get a stack of note cards, and you tell everyone, write any phrase you want on a note card. So everyone writes a phrase, pick whatever they want, and then everyone passes their phrase to, the, passes their stack of note cards to the right. You get a new, you get the new stack of note card with the phrase from the person to your left, you read the phrase, you put it in the back, and then you draw what you think the phrase is. And then you, everyone passes their drawings to the right, and now they look at the drawing and they write what they think the phrase was supposed to be for the drawing. You do this in a big circle, it works best with like six or more people. And then at the end, you, everyone just goes through their stack and says, this is what my phrase started with, this was the picture. So we had something where the picture, to me, looked like ram those titties, not once, not twice. But thrice. But thrice. Um, and that was the phrase that I wrote down. The challenge of Pictionary with the fun <laughs> of Telenary. <laughs> oh, is this going to work? No, this is death. 
I just realized that I was routing myself off the edge of the map. I'm guessing that's something that I build out later. That might have been what they were talking about. I see, I see. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like you're gonna... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Andrea did that. Yeah, see what <laughs> happened. Yeah. <laughs> but you said, not once, not twice. Well, I think I think it was a picture of a of a goat and like a woman and usually when you're doing picture telling people can't draw so the way that they approximate drawing is they'll just draw like a stick figure with boobs you know but it had like three ramps or like three lines like action lines pointing from the the goat to the woman yeah that was supposed to be usually sort of like an idiom or something or like you know basketball wizard or something like that it gets pretty crazy Nice. Uh, welcome, guys. Um, if you're new to the stream, I'm Mars. I'm trying to beat every awesome game ever made live on Twitch. We were making some really great progress so far. Uh, you can go to games.marsed.com if you wanted to see some of the titles we've already played. Actually, I'm going to try going straight here. I don't think I've done that yet, and maybe I will just be lucky enough that it takes me out of here. Um, if you're just here for Zelda, it will return one day a week. We devote to the Zelda series until we beat all of them. We're make, we've made a lot of progress. We've beaten Skyward Sword, Minish Cap, um, uh, Ocarina of Time, and Majora's Mask 3DS. Let's tr well, we'll go through this door one more time, and we're going to go left. Um, Twilight Princess, Wind Waker, Phantom Hourglass, we're on Spirit Tracks, and then after Spirit Tracks, it's the rest of the Zelda titles in the last timeline. <laughs> it's a lot easier to find things that way. Also, mine carts that ride for 10 plus minutes is another thing that will help you get where you need to go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My friend Julian was our road layer, our track layer. He built like all the tracks to all the places. Like, yeah, Julian, we need someone to build the roads. Actually, one time he was building the roads in the mine cart out somewhere, and I went out a little farther. And then I got a wolf, and I started training all of these wolves, and then I met him on the road, and I attacked him, and all the wolves jumped him and killed him. <laughs> nice. I've only ever beaten Zelda 2. But then I took all of his stuff and put it in a chest so he didn't lose it when he mm -hmm. came I've only ever beaten Zelda 2 once in my adult life. Um, I played it a lot as a kid, but never beat it. Oh, so the 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 G-rated version of that story well, then, was I don't know how much of it got picked off in the distance there. Uh, I was playing Minecraft and was distracted from playing Minecraft and just stayed logged into my server and my friends built like dirt around my body to keep me from getting killed while I was AFK. And we'll leave it at that. Yes, Zelda 2 I only beat once in my adult life, so I probably have to rely on chat to help me get around. There's a couple places where it's pretty easy to get stuck in that one. That was before we started like really focusing on good conveyance and game design like we have today. Um, Zelda 1 actually is another one that I could probably get to uh, like the fifth dungeon or so from muscle memory, but I never beat it as a kid. I just like started the game over many, many times and never made it to the final dungeon. Um, I have beaten Zelda 1 though as an adult and probably like a couple years ago, so that one's a little bit fresher. For Zelda 1, I won't be using a guide or, or chat to help me out, but I'll, I'll pull up a world map at least. Um, some of the, like, the way you find some of the dungeons involves you burning some very specific bushes or bombing some very specific walls, and it's pretty tough to figure that out uh, completely organically. Zelda 2 is entertaining to watch? Interesting. Can you, can you place anything about that, Calvin? What makes Zelda 2 different from the other titles as far as how fun it is to watch? Nice, get some hearts here and try to pick some up on the way out. Save real quick just in case. Death on the, the train is likely to happen. Got another heart.
I don't think we're gonna get to the next part, but we might at least be able to start it. Never play Zelda 2 yourself, gotcha. There's a couple games that are fun to watch, but you don't really want to play yourself. Like, you almost want to watch someone who's good at it and get through it quickly. For me, it's, uh, I want to be the Boshi. Like, I've had the patience to slowly play through and beat. I want to be the guy, but I want to be the Boshi would take me something like a thousand times as long as it takes a speedrunner to complete it. And I can get the same joy out of seeing the content by watching the speedrunner. I don't think Zelda 2 is a bad game. Um, it's just a different game, and they decided not to continue moving in that direction. Uh, Link to the Past really solidified that decision and decided what Zelda was going to be like going forward. Those top-down Zeldas are my favorite, so I'm really looking forward to Link to the Past, Link Between Worlds, both Oracle games, Zelda 1. Um, I think that's it. Maybe there's another one that's in the, the final timeline that I'm forgetting. Really, really good games, though. Nice, Goomba. How long is this Zelda 2 playthrough if you know what you're doing? Like, not not speedrunning, but just if you know what to do, where to go. I'll probably spend like 30 minutes grinding at the beginning. It's useful to do. Yeah, that'd be cool, Spikey. It'd be an interesting sell for Nintendo. We've come so far since then, it'd be interesting to imagine what a Zelda 2 like game might be. Like, I wonder if some indie developer would like to take a stab at making it, you know? Alright, let's see here. Oh, we do have one more tower level. Hmm. I'm trying to make a decision here. Um, I wanted to run until 8 o'clock tonight, or a 7 o'clock Pacific, but this is going to be another tower level, and last time we did a tower level it was like an hour and a half, and if you save in the middle of it, you lose all your progress. Um, I suppose I could leave the tower and go try to do some side questy things, like maybe I can go try to upgrade my train. Uh, it might not be a bad idea because I think the final boss fight involves using the train. And I only have four hit points for it, so I'm going to try to do that rather than uh, anything else at the moment. Let me actually say no. Hey, Shark Eater, how you doing? Merry Christmas and happy holidays to you. Five to six hours with no grinding if you know what you're doing. That's good to know, Goomba. So maybe it'll be two sessions or so. Um, especially if I have Stream helping me out. i got to go find where Linebeck was. I actually don't remember. Welcome back, Jahan. I'm gonna go leave and make another drink. Cut speed. Does anyone in chat know or remember where, um, where Linebeck is? Oh, he's in, he's he's in, in the ocean castle. area. Now. I think he's in the ocean area. That makes he's sense. He's in another castle. Yeah, I hear you, Goomba. Merry Christmas to you, Shark Eater. And happy Thursday to you. Later in the super, thanks for hanging out. See you Happy next time. Happy holidays. Here we go, Ocean. I think my back's down here. We're playing Zelda for another 20 minutes or so, so I'm not going to attempt the final spirit uh, tower level because it would take too long. Mm -hmm. Instead, we're going to go try to upgrade our uh, shop a little bit. Yeah. Upgrade. He's down here, isn't he? Oh, I like that you have the Hyrule Crest on the front of the train there. That's cool. Is he in Papucha Village? Hmm. Southeast of the grass area. Thank you, Goomba. Oh, that's right, because you need him to even go to this area in the first place. This might be faster because, it, I mean, it's a really long path, but I think it avoids any of the scary trains that kill you, so we'll go with this approach here. So what do sharks taste like? Are they huh? chewy? I thought they are chewy. I don't know. If you're just here for Zelda, it will return next week, Thursday. Uh, we're going to finish up Spirit Tracks next Thursday. If we finish it early, we'll transition directly into the next game in the series, is uh, Link to the Past. Um, tomorrow night, if all things go according to plan, we'll see since it's Christmas Day, we're going to be doing a, continuing our blind playthrough of Zelda Triforce Heroes, myself, Apex, and Flaring. Um, so it'll be cool if we get that to work. There's a lot of things that could go wrong, it being Christmas is one of them. Um, 
and yeah. like family obligations. Yeah, internet might not help out. But if we can make it happen, that'll be really cool. If for whatever reason we can't do Triforce Heroes tomorrow, Mom we'll just aggro. we'll finish up um, Spirit Tracks instead. All kinds of aggro. Yeah, just all So the plan here, though, is to upgrade our train for tonight so that we can be ready. I believe that the final boss involves usage of the train, and I've heard it's quite a bit trickier than the final boss of Phantom Hourglass, which did use the ship, but was pretty simple. You didn't have to do a lot of routing of the ship, if I recall correctly. Pirates! And I just barely avoided that last shot. I like that they use the rupees to also tell you that you've finished killing the enemy. Kind of a nice way to do it. Other games that should be on the schedule when we return to our normal stream hours next week are going to include um, Legend of Lagaya, Earthbound Beginnings, possibly Mass Effect 3. We're going to do some um, Mario Maker, and I think more Triforce Heroes next Wednesday. We might sub out Smash for the week, take a little break from Smash for a bit. Um, next Thursday, like I said, it'll be a Zelda day. It'll be some mix of spirit tracks on Link to the Past, with next Friday being um, Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Hold it! Yep. Objection. Objection! We've been having a lot of fun with that Phoenix Wright playthrough. If you haven't yet, I I encourage you to go to vote.marsted.com. You can see a list of all the games that are available for us to play on stream. There's a list of commands there that you can use to vote for the next game you're going to see. Uh, Basically, you, you earn points by being in chat and by got an ocean button. rabbit! Awesome! I'm sorry, I got too excited. <laughs> you earn points by being in chat. Uh, you can spend those points to vote on the next game we're going to play. And you can check your points by typing exclamation point SP into the chat there. It'll display how many you've gotten so far. So check that out. And yes, we did catch an ocean rabbit. Yes, you did. Sorry, I didn't get as excited. It's cool. I got excited <laughs> enough for the team. Like, it's... It's a challenge. I don't know how many of you have streamed before, but like maintaining your stream of consciousness while playing a game can be pretty tough. So like juggling that at the same time as a drunk, excited wife is rough. <laughs> nice, Spiky. I guess you could start investing in the next one. Once you've got two that are just competing back and forth with each other, like a vote's just going to... Every time you add a vote for it, you're just dumping more SP into it from everyone else. What's that game that uh, Chaos likes to vote for? The opposite of live constrained. He's not in chat, it's dead space. Dead space. Dead space. Yeah, so the, the goal is let's let's beat every awesome game that includes games that I'm either not good at or are in genres that I'm not very good at. Somebody, somebody just subscribed, and I was trying to figure out who it was. I can't see it on my laptop because I can't bring the screen up. Can you guys tell me who it said on screen? Subscribe, whoever did. Thank you so much. It's good to have you. I really do appreciate that. I hope you got to hear the subhype song play on top of the the game there. Ah, <laughs> oh, Goomba. Thank you, Knight. I appreciate that. Um, I'll get you hooked up with all of your uh, your perks and stuff later tonight. <laughs> That's the song. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But thank you so much. That's really cool to see that the Patreon alerts worked. <laughs> Welcome. Can you preemptively throw two votes at Phoenix right too? Um, I guess just hold on to the points then. Oh, but but right, the discount. You go ahead and put it in. You, you can write that in. I'm, I'm, let me change the spreadsheet tonight so you can just write in a game. Because I, I hear what you're saying. That's fine. Just leave it as select a game for now and say what percentage you want to do. I'm down with that. Yeah, hey, welcome, Knight. No, well, it, it is Man with the Machine Gun. I'm just singing on top of it. It played on stream. The alert worked. That's how I knew that he subscribed, because I heard it.
Uh, so if you subscribe on Patreon, you get some cool rewards. You get um, a discount, which can become a multiplier next year for mm -hmm, your sphere mm -hmm. points. Uh, you get a badge. Mm -hmm. You get uh, the ability to join sub-block lotteries, so you get a chance to have your pet game played on stream. All kinds of cool stuff. I played this great game with a unicycle that was awesome. So thank you to everyone who subscribes. It really helps, uh, helps make the stream a thing. Um, and right now, subscribers on Patreon are guaranteeing a three-hour daily stream. Um, we have some one-time donations we got during the 24-hour Super Mario stream earlier in December that have funded a four-hour stream in January. Um, but three hours minimum are guaranteed just indefinitely at this uh, Patreon level, and that's just mm -hmm. awesome. So thank you all so much. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she has to say it three times. I say it to you three times, Reshi. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's such a good book. Yeah. Ah, uh, you'll want to do x Management Game 01. You want to put the, the zero in front of it, and it should trigger. Yes, two significant figures are required. Alright, let's talk to this guy. Let's see what upgrades we can get. Yeah, that would be that would be a good that would be a good sound effect. <laughs> Alright, what do we got here? I'm gonna try to get the highest ones possible. Is there any cool thing I do I got from him? Oh, that's not true. <laughs> there you go, Mono. Oh man, we got little horses. Let's see if it actually gives me extra hearts. I don't think it tells me if it does. Dark ore shines in the dark and sparkles if it counters light. That's interesting. Jan. <laughs> that Jan's, yeah. Jan likes to get people to try to vote for Dead Space. That's the joke, is when I say it, Chaos votes for it. I'm bringing well, it upon myself. Chaos, you said it like five times. <laughs> <laughs> you, really I'll I'll talk to you about making ten two happen after stream today. I think we can get you that set up. You already played ten, so yeah, it stands no, to reason makes you sense. Play the sequel. I just didn't want to play it right away. Because it's, it's, yeah, it's yeah. you, you got to have some distance. Yes. If you go right from ten and like the the tone of ten into ten two, it's just a little it's, problem. Well, also I don't know what that would do to your stream. Maybe we should. No, 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 we should do 10 2. Most ten people love the battle system. It's yeah. So good. It's yeah. got a really cool really battle good. system. It just has an atrocious story. It, it, actually, even the story would be fine if it wasn't set in Spira and it didn't star Yuna. Like, if it if it starred Shmuna in Shmira, but we weren't implying that it was exactly the same person. At least yeah, they at least they spared Lulu's you know, character. You know, you know who's not going to become a pop star? Lulu. They had the good sense. <laughs> Hey, yeah, yeah, hon. Go ahead and send it. Watch, try watching on your phone. Hey, yeah, I can watch it on my phone. Or on my sister's computer. I'm just short of a couple of these upgrades. So I spent a lot of time in the South. We're technically in the South right now. We're technically mm -hmm. in the South right now, so you it's know, true. It's coming out. Alright, so. We'll see how many hearts we have now. See if it's a, a better number. There's probably some other secrets we could try to find, too. What's up, Calvin? <laughs> You've been searching this whole time, Calvin. What are you from Ferris? Oh, like Iron, he's a trainiac. Alright, we'll read these letters. What do these two letters say? <laughs> From Nico, he's our buddy. Is everything new for us? Yeah, I didn't really get a lot of the stamps. That's on my own bad, though. <laughs> oh, cool. Alright, so I think that's back in the hometown, isn't it? We'll go do that. It's fair to say. This place looks familiar to you. I'm over here trying to snap some shots of an awesome armor-plated version of that new train. If you're on here for a while. Oh, I think that it's like... He sends it to you after you've upgraded your ship once. <laughs> Getting lost in games is always fun. I'm a fan. There's one who often gets lost. Yep. 
I have to say, I, next time I do this, I might try to like hook up the laptop to a second monitor or maybe use Andrea's laptop at the same time. Um, because it's, it's surprising how much str uh, screen real estate you use to do something like this, like stream. If any of you are interested in streaming, I suggest you get a second monitor. I have everything just precariously placed on top of each other, and if I move anything to look closer at it, it's going to show up on stream. Like You'll see OBS if I pull it on top of the 3DS window. We're going to go back to the starting town, and we're going to try digging in these holes next to the places. Yeah, I know, Calvin. If you check... Uh... Oh, shit. If you check um, YouTube, I did play about an hour of Axiom Verge. An hour or two. I need to come back to it. Like, I remember enjoying it because I love Metroidvania games, but I was kind of soured on the fact it, it felt a little unpolished, but I think that that's the design of the game, is that it's supposed to have this, like, glitchy feel to it. That's how you get through areas, you glitch through them. It's kind of building on the whole, what was it, Secret Worlds they called them in Metroid 1? That were technically a glitch you could use to get to get off the map and travel places. So I think I just need to get over myself on thinking that it's unpolished. It is polished, it's just made to look like it's not. Oh, interesting, random. in front of these things here. Let's check our collection thing again. It's from Nika, right? Yeah, it's in front of the two palm trees. Is there actually sand there? there must be. Huh. Didn't do what I expected it to do, unless if that's not the right one. Collection, this guy, Nico. It's up and to the left, right? Oh, you know, maybe it's one of the other songs we have to play, like Discovery. Let's try that. Song of Discovery. Orange, yellow, orange, blue. Let's see if that does it. <laughs> that's perfectly reasonable, random. Um, that's actually the kind of stream that I'm trying to create here, one where you can, you know, put it in a different tab and zone out. Just listen to here if I say, hey, there's a cool cutscene coming up, or hey, we're in a boss fight. Um, there are a couple streamers that make that a little bit more difficult. Yahan, that video was really funny, and the birth control was a nice touch. I have no idea what you just watched. I can only imagine now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dead Space is an excellent game. Um, oh, a pearl necklace, you love those. <laughs> got a pearl necklace. Uh, Dead Space is an excellent game, but it's a horror game, and I am, you know, famously bad at them. I can handle horror movies no problem, but I'm I'm bad at horror games. It freaks me out. Being in control of the character. Yeah, me too. I was playing. Uh... I can even watch other people play horror games, and it's not a problem. I was playing Silent Hill 2, and there was this part where I had to, like, jump down this dark tunnel, and I'm just standing at the like, top, nope. and Matt's nope. just like, what are you doing? And I was like, well, I'm not going down there. Oh. Matt's like, you, you have to go down there. Or, no, I don't. I'm not going down there. <laughs> I'll, I'm going to have to play, I'm going to play the no song for you after stream's over, because it's... No, no, no! Yeah, we recorded it no, for stream, no, no, it's no, something no, you no. can... No, 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 no. <laughs> Spammed the hell out of that when I was playing Silent Hill 2, and it's gonna be doing it even more, I'm guessing, when we get to uh, get to Dead Space. Oh, you know what I want to put on my no. Wait, you want to? Will you do stress games? Give an example. Games? Five Nights at Freddy's. I should probably play the first one because it's it's pretty like celebrated. 
Now, the fact that they put out like five sequels in the space of two years makes me think that the sequels might not be all that great. But the first one seems pretty important to gaming, and you're important. Have you seen anyone play it? Um, no, but I know the general premise. It's it's a game that a lot of kids will pop in chat and be like, oh man, you gotta play that Five Nights at Freddy's. Maybe I'll put all my points towards Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> <laughs> or Tom you could do Final Fantasy X too. Oh. <laughs> Tom Berry's a scary motherfucker. Yeah. You can check uh, with exclamation point SP. We'll show you how many you got. You got it. Where the hell am I bringing the guy that's in my? Ooh, yeah, Hans Magus. I didn't see. Him. You know who? You know who Magus is? Now. Yeah, King's butt. He's a villain. Maybe I'm bringing him to the castle. With someone paying attention to this kid's dialogue, I just realized that I talked to a kid and he's on my train now, so I need to bring him somewhere, and I don't know where he wanted me to take him. I was taking that opportunity to look at chat, take a guess, and say maybe it's the, uh, maybe it's the castle. We're gonna try the castle. Hey, B cast, how you doing? I've seen you. Hey, HDL. I did do it, dick. You were right, Bob Ross. So God. if you if you have a passenger, you have to like you have to pull your you have to toot your horn whenever you pass a sign that tells you to. You have to like slow down if a sign tells you to, or they get mad. You gotta do what the signs tell you to. Or if somebody missed it, if you would, if you could like help me out by googling, he's the passenger you pick up in the starting town. Like, where am I supposed to take him? Because I completely missed it. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. No one knows. Yeah, I'll tell you the name of it here real quick. One sec. So... Okay, it's uh, a do a Boda Village passenger, maybe. A Boda Village passenger. She's trying. You're a beautiful treasure, Andrew. Yeah, so try finding all the passengers. Cool. Where does he want me to take him? Okay. Okay. Somewhere where you can fly like a bird. Oh god. Airborne vehicle. Oh, beetle! Oh god, he's right at the goddamn entrance to the town. Hold on. Yeah. I just... Don't hit me. Don't hit me, evil train. Please, evil train. Please don't hit me, evil train. Whew. Close call. Let's try going this way, and then we'll turn around. HDL, it sounds good to me. Thank you. Let's see if we can bump into Beetle here. Oh no! Don't go right! Whew. Calm down, kid. Yes. Oh look. His face. He's mad because I'm like pulling the emergency brake, which is uncomfortable for him. I mean, yeah, I guess I could bring up the train pulls and break. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Appreciate it, yeah, hun. And Lisa for looking it up. So, yeah, so it said we gotta go talk to someone who's able to fly, and that's Beetle. Remember the Muppet guy from Wind Waker? He's like, thank you! And then the compliment card. Yeah, exactly. That? Yeah. That's the worst, where he's like, oh, I'm gonna give you this special reward, you know, if you buy enough things. I appreciate you! I was so pissed because I, like, grinded and grinded to get all the rupees to buy it in the very first part of the game. Thinking it was something important. Alright, let's see. 
Where are we, Bob Ross? Sure can fly. I'm not funny, and neither is your joke. Beetle is a ladies' man. Muppet-looking son of a bitch. These force gems are kind of like the uh, gratitude crystals in Skyward Sword. I'm going to grab this potion, and I think we're at 7 o'clock, so this would be a really good stopping point. Oh. Cool, I'm glad we picked it up, though. You know what I appreciate? Yeah, go for it, HDL. What? Material rewards. Material rewards are a good thing, I agree. As opposed to cheap, cheap rewards. <laughs> Cool. Let's buy two potions. I'm going to want to have them for the boss fight. I don't think it's going to matter for the part that involves the train. Alright, we'll save. We're going to find someone else who's playing Zelda so we can bump their numbers a little bit. 30 points. I need 200 points to become a member. Great. Become a member. You get great rewards, Dylan. Ooh, yeah, I can hear that random. Trust me. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on, Link. I'm going to need you to... Do better than that there, buddy. Cool, guys. All right. Thank you all so much for hanging out on Christmas Eve. It was fun to play with you. Just a reminder of what's coming up next. Uh, you can go to games.marsted.com if you want to check out the other games on the schedule. Uh, go to games.marsa.com, check out the games on the schedule. You can also uh, check out zelda.marsa.com for all of the other Zelda games we've played on stream so far. Um, tomorrow night, Friday, we're going to be playing Zelda Triforce Heroes, me, Flare Wing, and Hapex on the holiday schedule. And the normal stream schedule of 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Pacific will resume next week, Monday. Um, like I said, we're going to be seeing some more uh, Earthbound Beginnings. We're going to try to wrap that one up. We're pretty close to finishing it. Some more Legend of Lagaya, um, some Mario Maker, Triforce Heroes, Phoenix Wright, and uh, next week, Thursday, is going to be Spirit Tracks again. We're going to try to wrap it up. Um, everybody have a good night. I'm going to throw up the BRB real quick while I find someone else who's streaming a Zelda game. Probably not going to find anyone on Spirit Trek, so I'm just going to jump over to Wind Waker. I'll be back. Yeah, Merry Christmas, everyone. We got somebody doing a speed run of Ocarina of Time on Christmas. That sounds like lots of fun. That's a uh, Torj AGC. Twitch.tv slash Torj AGC. Hop in, tell them hello, and uh, throw them a follow, boost the numbers for a bit, and we'll have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody.